Okay, guys, you just let us know of Assassin's Creed Shadows official world premiere trailer. This came out hours ago. Can't and wait. If, if this is Assassin's Creed Japan, this is something I have actually been waiting for. Yep, I remember way it. back when I was at a fucking Ubisoft event, and I was like, yeah, I was a little tepid. I think it was the Egyptian one, and I was like, you know, I was like, when is, uh, I looked straight in the eyes, like, yeah, but when is Assassin's Creed Japan coming? And he looked right at me, and he <laughs> let it slip on his face. I could see it on his face. I didn't want to say not that. Well, here it is, uh, somewhat, two, two years later, I after that two or three years, which that must have mean it had to have been in development. So I saw this coming. This is, I don't really care about Assassin's Creed anymore. I'm kind of Assassin's Creed out, but this is I'm the one that could the potentially bring me you back in. Japan, and I then this guy, that. this guy came up with, <laughs> uh, let's do dinosaurs. And I was like, hey, that let's actually sounds different. pretty cool. Let's do something different. Come like on. Far Cry I, one. Th but there's no high rises. Oh, jungles. Well, that's what we were saying. Trees. We can go you on the, the, up in the neck of a brontosaurus. Yeah. Anyways, here's Japan. Let's check it out together. Is it worth all my hype? Three, two, one, go. Woo, woo. Oh, 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 darn. Okay. Is it going to be a CGI trailer the whole time? Oh, yeah, no gameplay. For sure. Oh, well, I guess we'll just... Wait for the gameplay trailer. Looks at in engine maybe. Ninja, ninja, rap, ninja, ninja. You're looking a little skinny there. Why are you wearing the short sleeve shirt? What's wait, wait, wait? What's going on here? I don't like that that ninja design. Oh. I'm just being picky. Okay, so we got some cranes. Customs. Oh, that's why. Okay. Go. Fula. Get your ninja outfit. Samurai, the armor is so fucking cool. A simple shove is not going to do it. Yeah, you're going to have to do that. Grow stronger. Well, sometimes, Alex, you just need to get down to business. These aren't hugs. Yes, oh. <laughs> you're still a frog in a well. These Who knows well, nothing right. of the sea? <laughs> mm-hmm. The oceans filled with new ships, but they all come from the same river. Greed. Power. Oh, cool. Yes. That that kind of reminds me of like the American Revolution when we were fighting on the battlefields. Oh, that looks these that, the armor designs are fucking sweet as shit. That's a great video. <laughs> Too bad it's not gameplay. These armors are so intricate. Will you continue down that river? Can I be him? Or is that another path beyond what we see? Choose a different is that path. A... And we must look for it together. Uh, is that a uh, Templar or a or a? Uh, oh, we get a little bit. Wait, that just cut. Wait, <laughs> I can't tell. Like, is it cutting back and forth we between gameplay? I'm going to assume this is not. Because this looks really fucking good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's like, whoa! A black samurai! <laughs> okay, so we could play either character? Play both characters? Co op? Co op would be cool. I don't know, but the, the fucking. Uh, I gotta turn off the music just in case. I don't know. If you guys can hear, they're, they're doing. Uh, I think I'm turning Japanese. Um. Really? No. 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 That that's song's not jerking off. That's uh, I thought. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did not. Why, what? What? It is. Did That's you all hear yes. that shit from Alex? I didn't see none of this stuff. Okay, brutal. He is the bruiser of the group. She is the stealth assassin. We are the shadows. That serve the light. Where to? Okay. 
Assassin's Creed Shadows up in Japan with two characters. Um, who? Oh, there was another uh, video. Let's check out the second video. We might have to edit some parts out. Uh, copyright claim. Uh, so let's see what what they say about our two new uh, protagonists. So right away, let me say, what did you guys think of that? Uh, I mean, it's a cinematic trailer, right? So Ubisoft has done some good cinematic trailers. I need to see what gameplay looks like. Uh, I mean, they they can just be looking at all of the other games that have come out in this period of time in the last couple of years, and hopefully they copy enough of better developers that this turns out to be okay. But I don't think anything other than like reinforcing that I love this period, I love this yes, area. Yes. This trailer didn't do anything for me as far as this game, yeah. but um, I am excited to play it. Uh, same with me. I love the theme. I love what they're going with. It's going to look great. But, again, it's Ubisoft. It's just going to be more repetition, more of a drag. If not, it's just like the same game, different skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so there's female protagonists. There's been, what, five female protagonists? Phoenix, Evior from Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Immortals Phoenix Rising, Cassandra in Odyssey, Aya in Origins through the 17th, Evie Freya in uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate 2015. So I'm not sure. I guess her name is uh, Yasuke or right. Naoe. I think Yasuke like is that. him. Okay, and so... Um, but this one, I'm wondering if you choose. So I'm hoping this trailer tells us, do we choose between these? Do we play both? Is it co-op and, and we play both? So some questions right off the top of my mind. I love the intricate designs of the armor. I love the setting. I love the, the towns and architecture in Japan. Is that going to lend itself well to the parkour? Um, you know, is this more a fantasy? Uh, fantastical or is this more historically accurate uh, well clearly some of the things in there probably not the most historically accurate and maybe leaning towards a lot of the Assassin's Creed frankly has been leading a little bit more towards the mystical and stuff and I kind of want to press the gas on that you know Onis and stuff like that but I don't know if that's what they're going for here but there's the potential to do that it looked relatively tame in, in the trailer um, so let's figure out uh, if there's any more information in this next one. I had relationships with some of the most interesting people in our setting, like Odin huh, and Umaga, This is kind of reminding me of a uh, uh, which Shogun made a little bit. It very sort of tantalizing and enticing from a narrative perspective to come in and, and start weaving these facts with story in between. She's surprised. I've the never seen anybody that, with your color. Character the more he was inspiring for us. He's a foreigner discovering Japan and we, we thought it's the perfect fit because he's discovering Japan and you are discovering Japan also. Mm. And on the flip side, we have Nawe who comes Nawe. Uh, from the province of Iga, which is a, a remote uh, mountainous area, fiercely independent, uh, known as the birthplace of Shinobi. So cool. they're very contrasting perspectives that really expose a lot of different sides uh, and facets. Her of father's era. like, you, you go do it. I'm, I'm tired. I'm not going to help. I'm going to let my yeah, daughter go to And the Oda that coming to destroy the shinobi. Here. So it can kind of create this, this interesting tension between two characters. We were able to connect her to uh, the province Are of Iga and the legendary the Igen Shinobi historical figure, Fujibayashi like Nagato, who's, who's her father mm -hmm. in the game. So we understand why she is, has the skills that she has and the values that she learns from her father Damn, and the people of Iga, high. which are valor, benevolence, and, and wisdom. And as a young person still at the start of the game, we get to see now we acquire even more of that wisdom as the story unfolds. And if you ask anybody, it's super clear that Samurai will be combat heavy and a shinobi will be stealth heavy. Yeah. It creates this distinction right away. Very clear. Yasuke uh, can fight with all his advantage, uh, his stature, like he's, he's a big guy. He can break door, he can fight multiple enemies, he can break armor. Compared to Naoe, like her character and their, their outfit, it's it's really about being stale, being unseen. She's the only one with the hidden blade, so they have clear advantage that put them into the, the, the stealth classic, and the combat. Uh, you know, retracting even if they can do a, a bit of that. They're a really great pair together because on one side uh, we have 
Nawe, who's very intense and passionate and, and determined woman who is very set on her goals. She's kind of got her heart on her sleeve and she'll say what she feels in the heat of Have the moment. Have we seen and this any other type of woman? Uh, that she brings as a shinobi, but that she also brings to her relationship. And this balances very well with Yasuke, who is sort of a, a thoughtful level head to Nawe's fiery passion. We really thought about somebody like Yasuke, historically, who was able to come to Japan and have the life that he did there to enter service for Oda Nobunaga and achieve all of the things Oda. that he did. Like, what kind of person would go so through all of real this? So our figure. Yasuke is very uh, intelligent, thoughtful, and respectful of this culture that he encounters. And that makes him a very nice sort of counterpart to Nawe. He's a bit mysterious as well, and that's something we get to see unfold as the game progresses. Okay. So if you don't know, this is based on uh, history of black samurai in Japan. Yasuke was an African, let's see, uh, African warrior in the employ of Nobunaga, a powerful feudal lord known as the Great Unifier during Japan's Sengoku period, the first black samurai who was at Nobu Nobunaga's side. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, very interesting. Something different. Uh, I would love to see more gameplay. But uh, do I? Or, yeah, any gameplay. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, we'll see uh, how this shapes up. Uh, tell us what you think down in the comments below. Are they going to shake up the formula? Are we going to have the uh, what is it called? The Sturgo segments. I hate that they need I always to do that. something because they've been so fucking stale. And their games have not been very good, yeah. and they need to turn something around. Right. The company. Uh, let's see. Let's check some of the comments here. Ubisoft has balls of steel for asking people to pre-order, not showing any gameplay. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 54 years as a Ezio's death. Uh, don't screw this up. I, More, no, I agree with that yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with that one. Yaku says spirit in the afterlife. Uh, I'd make a horrible assassin being the only black guy in Japan. Yeah, well, that's why he's not the shinobi. He's the big boy. 80% uh, of players will choose. Why? I'm, I'm actually cho going to choose the guy uh, with the armor, the badass armor, because he looks like the bruiser. The giant club, the, the Oni club. Yeah, remember, never pre-order. Most heroic thing is they left the comments open. Yeah, so I'm, I'm anticipating some, uh, some sort of feedback from people who either don't know history or think it's unrealistic that uh, black people would be, you know, samurais or in Japan. And then, of course, you got the female protagonist. None of this stuff really bothers me so as long as, you know, the, the, the characters are good, the story is good, uh, primarily the gameplay. What has felt so stale in, in, the, in the, you know, Assassin's Creed franchise has driven me away. And then when they put in the microtransactions yeah, with the savers. fucking Billy Mays, time, stay, time, time savers, savers, it further drove me, drove me away when they started putting that in all their games. So... I don't know. I, I do expect the familiar tropes to be there. You know, go up the tower and then seeing the whole thing. That's fine if it's in the game. And then leaping off and jumping into maybe fucking um, cherry blossoms this time instead of hay. But I would really like to shake up the formula in some way. And one way they can do that is co-op. You got two fucking main people. And then, you know, let me play with Joe. Joe can be the girl, I'll be the dude, and we can go and beat up people together. I think that that would be fun. There has been multiplayer Assassin's Creed's in the past. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, let's see. Unity. Play as a French-born guy in France. Syndicate. Play as an English-born man and woman in England. Origins. Play as an Egyptian-born man and woman and sometimes in Egypt. Odyssey. Play as Greek-born man or woman in Greece. Play as a Norse invader or woman in England. Mirage. Play as a Persian-born man in Persia. Shadows. Play as Japanese-born woman or black African-born only in Japan. Where is the... There's a Chinese one. I th I think it was a like a, 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 a side scroller because I think there was one in China. I didn't notice that one in there. I was think that guy was just trying to list all the different no. countries because we're going <laughs> across the world. So, um, what else do can we say? This is what I have been waiting for uh, forever. This particular time period because, and I guess I'm extra excited because we just finished watching Shogun. 
I've been wanting this type of Assassin's Creed forever. They wanted to get it far away from Ghost of Tsushima. You're going to have obvious, huge okay. comparisons. Nonstop. And then, honestly, like Ghost of Tsushima, it even is. when it came out on PS4, it looked fucking incredible. You're late to the party, yeah. says Ghost of Tsushima. Yasuke was never a samurai. He served under Nobunaga, but was never given title or rank in his lifetime. I can't deny. Ugh, all right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh, I'm not showing that one. Okay, cool. Anyways, <laughs> oh, God, I hate this stuff. It, I, I'm looking forward to it. Let's see if Ubisoft can shake up the formula or if it's just more of the same and then it has to lean on its story and stuff like that. Maybe dialogue, maybe branching choices. I doubt there's going to be any of the naval combat that I really liked from Black Flag. What do you think? No. Nah. no. It is an island. It's a, it's a fucking island, Japan. Yeah. Well, maybe they could incorporate uh, Skull and Bones kind of stuff <laughs> in the, your game. Stop it. Is that not what you want? Yeah, that's naval combat. Yeah. No. Is it, that's exactly, yeah. The, and Skull and Bones is based want? on Black Flag, so it's yeah. kind of what you want. They could just use those assets and put it in this game for you. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, as long as all the blood magic stupid shit is gone, but I don't think it is because there is a, a, a scene in the original trailer where their background goes away and it goes all white background, and I'm worried that they're, you know, in the animus thing. So that... I couldn't actually see... Okay, so November 15th, so uh, towards the end of the year, we will be playing this particular one. Have they announced Ghost of Tsushima 2? Is there going to be a potential sequel? I don't uh, they said they are. Up. They say they are working Maybe. on a project, but I don't think they've said whether it's goes. To see if these material. two will compete each other. But anyway, the fact that there's a, a black samurai and they make him a samurai uh, does not bother me. The, you know, the female protagonist and people call in woke and stuff. That's not stuff that I'm concerned with. I'm concerned with is it a fun game? Does it provide me a value of seventy dollars? I'm sure it's going to be seventy dollars. And if there's you a pre special now, you get like a no, hundred no, something, right? No. no. <laughs> Ubisoft does not deserve our pre-orders, no. but if there's a special edition that comes with a badass samurai sword <laughs> or a fucking helmet, may I might consider that. But I, I doubt it. It's all going to be digital fucking goods. Here's your fucking samurai armor that's going to be fucking blue, and it's twenty more dollars. That's the digital deluxe edition. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. So, we'll just have to see with this thing as it gets closer. What do you think? Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.